the Lion Habitat Ranch is a little secret destination in Las Vegas, Nevada. And it's a must-see place to go visit because their love of these animals shines through and that is their purpose and their mission is to have you fall in love with an animal that most people don't realize is very near to being on the endangered species list. Yes, lions are threatened. So this is where the MGM lions that once resided at the MGM hotel and casino have come to find a home as well as some other exotic creatures that needed a place for peace and to be well taken care of. So enjoy the day that Rachel and I spent at the Lion Habitat Ranch visiting some of our favorite creatures.
and his treats throughout the painting experience too. I won't make you talk about drafts. 
Yeah, maybe okay, you can't prepare. But just in case. Um, so I will be doing all the talking here. Um, you were doing fantastic eating him and so he really is coming here. So we'll start with the yellow on this canvas real quick and then we will definitely get going on the words. Oh, well, I'm still be right after the show. Yeah, right after the show. Uh, whatever we're going to do. Alright. <laughs> You can set those on the table behind you there. Um, now, when you can, I'll use his paintbrushes. You're going to use your left hand to hold on to the black portion. So you can grab on to the little portion. You can kind of hold it up sideways like that. Yeah, girl. <laughs> you can see, he does use his tongue to grab on to that. Good job, Ozzy. And now you're going to reward him. So you can either choose these avalanche biscuits or these uh, Brussels sprouts there. And you can give him uh, a few more, too. We want to make sure he's getting paid extra. Yellow is his favorite color. Um, it's actually the easiest color for him to see. 
Um, do you want to do some more yellow? Because I'm in blue first. More yellow? Um, so you can see the full color spectrum just like we can. Uh, but yellows are going to be the easiest because out on the savanna oh, you have a lot of yellows kind of naturally occurring on the land landscape and also in a lot of your animals, especially things like lions that he's going to want to watch out for when you want to try it out. The blue. There you are. And you can see Ozzy is using his nice long tongue. Oh, he missed the canvas there. You want to try to pass that to him again? <laughs> them all in here at the same time. <laughs> Cheeto. His name is Cheeto. He's so pretty.
so you did that right behind a fence that I can't see. Hi! Yes, no, she's gonna make some noises. And then George and Harry in the next one down were also a product of Swifty and Pebbles. Oh, she's asking to be pet, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not cleared to do that. Megan, who just went to get some more sunscreen, she's comfortable with that. <laughs> She actually scratches her neck. I don't think I would pet a lion. <laughs> when I worked up at the Reno Zoo, we had one instruction. Do not let the lions or the tigers get a hold of the hose as you're refilling the water. You will not win that game of tug of war. Yeah, they are so that. powerful. Yeah, we're told if they get a hold of anything that you're working with, just let it let go. Let them have it! Yeah, it's no longer yours. It's a toy now. She's pretty oh. fast. She's going to tell you some opinions. Tell me a story. You're beautiful. You are beautiful. Look at those big old feet. Not too long. You're pretty. So if you've ever had cats that have had ringworm, uh, does this smell good? Yeah, she loves the smell. She's also making a noise right now. That's a flirting noise, mostly for Swifty. Yeah, I'm very excited. You'll see her roll on her back sometimes. That's also flirting. There she goes. Oh my goodness. Tell me about it. Is he not paying you any attention? So this stuff that I'm putting on her nose, it's the same idea. It's just an anti-fungal prevention. Here you go, baby. Oh, it's so good. 
Bella here is a uh, same parents as Swifty, but they were born in different litters, so they don't really know each other. That's why she's flirting with him. She thinks he's hot stuff, even though they're siblings. Oh, yeah. You want to show everybody how big you are? Oh. So while this looks really impressive to you guys, it does give me a chance to look at Belladonna's stomach. Make sure it looks nice and pretty. Doesn't have any scratches or scrapes or anything like that. Bella here is one of our largest females. She weighs just over 400 pounds. Is that yummy? You guys can see under her neck, she's getting a little bit shaggy right there. That's just because female lions, just like humans, get more testosterone and less estrogen as they age. So she's growing a mane, essentially. Testosterone is in complete control of mane growth uh, on lions, so much so that if you neuter a male, he'll actually lose his entire mane and it'll never come back. So they need testosterone constantly to fuel it. Um, if you do, if zoos need to alter their males in some way, kind of like neutering, they'll actually do a vasectomy. It's reversible and they can keep all their hormones intact. Um, and that's just if, say, you know, Swifty wanted to be with Pebbles, but we didn't want them to have cubs because you do need to be approved in most states to breed. Um, it's not just like willy-nilly. You can, you can thank Tiger King for that. That's probably the one good thing that came from that guy. Um, is that they're now cracking down on people trying to breed these animals, um, which is important because, you know, they're really fun and cute and make a lot of money when they're cubs, but they're very expensive when they're adults. So a lot of those cubs were going missing. Um, whereas here, uh, we did breed on our property. Bella was born here, Swifty was born here. All of the cubs that were born here stay with us or they go somewhere for genetics, so they're never just disappearing. Um, and our owner is very smart, I admire him a lot. He actually writes in the contract that if he goes to another facility where our lion is and doesn't like it, we can take them back. So um, that's pretty smart in my opinion. Bye! <laughs> She's like, I'm done with you. There's no more food. <laughs> so chubby.